the very best calves in the history of bodybuilding. It goes back from the golden era. Let's start with the oak, the governator, Mr. Arnold Schwarzenegger. People were admiring even back then. Look at that, he was impressive to say the least. But soon he has been joined by Mr. Tom Platt, Mr. Legs. He also had a crazy set of calves if you ask me. Same era pretty much in the 80s, Danny Padilla, 5'2". He was the first one to be nicknamed the giant killer. Admire the vacuum, bro. Admire the vacuum. But notice the calves. He was next to another dude, though, to the right. Mr. Chris Dickerson, Mr. Olympia. Very small dude. However, his calves were definitely amazing. Not to be messed with, if you ask me. But then again, Danny Padilla. Appreciate the aesthetics. 5'2", for God's sake. Sean Ray, not bad calves, not bad. Look at him, very small, but quite well developed. There was another dude in his era, 90s, Mr. Aaron Baker. Remember this dude? Crazy back development. His legs were not bad and so were the calves. Trust me, he was a sight to be seen. Unfortunately, he was definitely underrated. There was the discrimination, in my opinion, against him. And you guys can guess why. He was, let's say, different right but nonetheless trust me his calves were crazy crazy good i salute this dude same era mr sony schmidt may he rest in peace mr olympia masters he died another giant who passed away not long ago mr nasser el somebody rocking some crazy calves development look at that even from the front very impressive big jurassic paul delat from canada showcasing the calves he was not bad these two guys, remember them? Mustafa Mohammed and the currently competing Mr. Granite Branch Warren. These guys from the toe to the testicles, they have crazy wheels development, no doubt. Look at this dude from Germany though. Wolf, ah, not good. He was next to Dorian Yates. We'll come back to Dorian Yates, trust me. Hold on, hold on. This here is Mr. Kuklo, newcomer. Look at his calves, for God's sake. They're definitely a sight to be seen next to a normal human being. Does he even lift? You can see him here next to the, the pros in the conference. We'll do a close-up. Wow, look at that. It's like a giant elephant testicle, for God's sake. Look at him next to a regular human being. Does he even lift? But hold on, guys. What the hell is this? Oh, my Lord. Look at that shootout. Three crazy sets of calves. These guys are today's competing. Mr. Jeff Long, Mr. Frank Hauser, and Big Ben Pakulski. Look at that. They look like a butt, for God's sake. You might as well put the panties on them. Look at that, Mr. Big Ben Pakulski. Again, these two guys, Ben Pakulski and Eric, the house, Frank Hauser. Sight to be seen. Look at that. This is Mr. Jeff Long. And this is Eric Frank Hauser. And once again, these two guys, Frank Hauser and Big Ben Pakolsky. For God's sake, that really look like a butt. Frank Hauser again. And look at him doing some calf raises. Wow. Let's go back in time though, to Russia. Mr. Alex Fedorov. He was a giant art from Russia, this guy. It was amazing. Look at him next to another dude though. Mr. J. Cutler, that's right, a cut above is not to be dismissed. They have some serious calf development. Not the craziest, not the biggest, but definitely respectable. Look at that. They're quite amazing. Mr. Olympia. Mr. J. Cutler, but sorry, there was another Mr. Olympia in the house. Mr. Dorian Yates, out from the UK. He was one of the, 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 the only guys who knew how to pose with a calf. He added the calf pose to every pose of his even you know the back lat spread look at that he was definitely a sight to be even from the front for god's sake you cannot dismiss them he was a sight to be seen and by the way he is one of the best he is the best i'll come back to him though look at him even now he's still rocking some crazy calves but what he shares the position with mr mike matarazzo you guys remember this guy from the 90s look at that those were the very first one who looked literally like a butt. 
Literally, you can put panties on these calves, bro. He was amazing. He was crazy well developed. I mean, look at that. Even from the front, you cannot dismiss them. One of you guys saw this picture. He told me, what's wrong with his calves? Nothing wrong, bro. They're just overdeveloped, overgrown. He was crazy well developed. He was a show guy. He was the first one to do this tongue pose. Everybody is emulating him now. Look at that from the close up. They call it the calves of the decade, the calf of history, bro, not only the decade. He was a sight to be seen. And he shares the position, number one, with Mr. Dorian the Shadow Yates. These two guys reign supreme in the calves department. Definitely crazy developed. I salute them. Unfortunately, Mr. Mike Matarazzo got very sick after a while. Right now you can see him next to Ray and Lavroni. But here is him now. He went through several heart surgeries. You can read in this article. The link will be at the bottom, by the way. And, you know, of course, he stopped competing. He is in a serious medical condition. Until then, if you agree, don't forget to like the video. Tell me what you think about it. Comment, salute me, and I salute you on a daily basis, baby, please. And that's what time it is.